Imagine we want to solve this massive integral. If we graph the bounds that we're asked to integrate on, we can see that it's actually just a circle of radius 1 centered at the origin. Instead of x and y, if we used r and theta, our integration bounds would have r going from 0 to 1 and theta going from 0 to 2 pi. This represents one revolution around the circle of radius 1. And we also know that r squared equals x squared plus y squared, which means we can simplify our integrand as well. Now this is seeming like a pretty good option, but we have to convert our differentials into polar form as well, and that is a little more complicated. To transform from Cartesian to polar coordinates, we have to use something called the Jacobian determinant. And this is what turns our Cartesian differentials into polar differentials. You know x equals r cos theta and y equals r sine theta. Using this information, we have to compute our Jacobian determinant, which is like a conversion factor for going from this system to this system. Luckily right now, it's a 2 by 2 determinant, so it's pretty easy. Evaluating the partial derivatives gives us this. And remember, a 2 by 2 determinant is AD minus BC. And this actually just simplifies to R. So we find that going from the Cartesian plane to the polar plane, we have a conversion factor of R. Rewriting our integral in polar coordinates, we have theta bounds from 0 to 2 pi, R bounds from 0 to 1, our integrand, and our differentials with this conversion factor. And this simplifies to this, which is so much nicer than what we had up top. The inside evaluates to 1 third, and the whole integral evaluates to 2 pi over 3. 